Hi guys, it is one gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on this beautiful Monday afternoon, August 29th, 2018, and I'm just down here uh, figuring out what to do with myself, and uh, once again, it has been way too long that I have uh, checked in with my hero, Terrence McKenna. So I'm over here on this great YouTube channel called McKenna Counterculture. The name of this 11-minute video is Shamanism. We have become a sick species. So I'm going to put the link to this 11-minute video for your daily dose of Terrence. But I'm just going to give you a, uh, let's just take a couple of minute preview to see what was on the mind of Terrence McKenna. I think this is from around 1989. Uh, so take it away, Terrence McKenna, and tell us why we are a sick species and what to do about it. But through a realization that we are sick and no doctor can cure us because we're not that kind of sick. It's soul sickness. I mean, it has to be soul sickness. And when you see stuff like Chernobyl, or the Kuwaiti oil fields, or the Hanford Nuclear Reservation in Washington, when you realize what this really means, then you realize, you know, this is a, this is a mad species. This is a terminally depraved species. And what is required is a return to a model that can heal. And this is what shamanism has always been about. And okay, then we're going to jump ahead as he talks about shamanism. We're going to listen to one more piece. Oh, I don't know where to dive in, people, I guess, about here. We have, we are so deep into the historical nightmare that we can't ever remember any other way of doing business. I mean, we know we're messed up. We know we're unhappy. But what's to be done, you know? I mean, we have a million minor fixes and people peddling all of these things. I mean, you've just been through the aisles. You know what I'm talking about. But somehow salvation itself becomes an impediment to salvation. I mean, once you see 500 forms of salvation being sold at prices you can't afford, the very notion of salvation becomes obscene. You know, it becomes one more layer in the obscene layering that takes meaning out of life and disempowers us and turns us into a subscription customer. That seems to be how we always are being forced to end up. Well, the only way out of this, I think, is to, um, it takes courage because you have to turn your back on your culture in the most profound sense there is, because there are many ways to turn your back on your culture. I mean, if everyone's wearing gray, you can wear green. That's one way to turn your back on a culture. But another way is to break its laws. Now, that's a little more serious and, you know, brings in big philosophical issues. But in fact, the culture is an enormous arrow pointing go this way and you know what lies that way impoverishment madness degradation and death that's where the culture is pointing you can see it you can see it just look where we're headed uh, uh, if everyone on earth aspires to the kind of lifestyle that you people can enjoy by virtue of having paid the money to be at a scene like this, there isn't enough glass, metal, and plastic in the planet to make that many celicas and uh, jaguars and bluebirds and snowbirds and all the rest of this crap. So what is needed is... Uh, an awakening. Now I mentioned... What is needed is an awakening. Now those words I think were spoken 
29 years ago. Uh, and, you know, anybody who acts like electric cars are going to save the planet uh, needs to listen to that last talk about there is not enough metal and plastic on the planet. Uh, and that was, that, that was almost 30 years ago, people. But, uh, anyway, if, if, if you are not familiar with Terrence McKenna, I am sending this video to a, uh, to my date from Pile of Fish yesterday, who says she's interested in learning about shamanism, never heard the name Terrence McKenna. So, uh, we will see what she thinks. But if you are not familiar with Terrence, or you have not had your daily dose of Terrence, get on the ball and the McKenna Counterculture uh, YouTube channel is an excellent uh, reservoir of Terrence McKenna material. And uh, I will put the link to the rest of this video. I suggest you start here and start your own trip down the Terrence McKenna rabbit hole, the late, great Terrence McKenna. Where are you, brother, when we need you? And the owls are hooting. Bye, guys. There, you tell them, Mr. Owl.